guys. Um, we got a request to do a grooming video specifically on cupcake. So I thought I would do that. This video was requested by um, Cynthia, um, who owns another Japanese chin. Her Japanese chin is named Zoe. So thank you, Cynthia and Zoe, for the request. Now, Cynthia had specific um, questions about shedding and about keeping the eyes clean. I do need to admit that once my dogs turn 10 years old, I just keep them in a shave down cut. So I don't put them through the daily and weekly grooming of keeping them in like a breed specific cut. Um, but one thing I will say about shedding is that when Cupcake was long, he would blow coat, which means like that undercoat, that soft downy undercoat would come out and he would shed that. Um, so what I found helpful was to have a grooming rake, like a rake tool like this. You can pick this up online or at PetSmart. And all it does is it goes underneath this top coat and you pull it along and it pulls out that soft downy coat which is what you're going to see um, when they start to blow coat. So hopefully that helps with the shedding. Um, you can also pick up something called a Furminator and they sell that online as well and at PetSmart and it works really really well for dogs that shed, um, that have a double coat. It also works really well on cats um, also. Not so much for the shorter breeds that shed. Oh, the shorter breed that sheds, you're gonna wanna pick up something like this, and this is what I use for Bailey. And it's just a hound comb or a hound brush, and it's just rubber and short, so it pulls those short hairs out. So this would be great for a dog that has short hair, like a boxer or a bulldog for shedding. But for dogs that have that double coat, um, Japanese chins, Malamutes, Huskies, <laughs> Goldens even this would be good for them when they're starting to blow coat um, So it's just called a grooming rake and I'll link both of those um, down below for you as far as keeping um, Cupcake's eyes clean if he will look at you guys <laughs> There we go um, You'll see that the hair on his face is naturally short So I don't really have an issue with um, so much of his fur getting into his eyes like Coco with her top knot um, but what I will get is like kind of like those eye boogers. Um, so all I do is I take a baby wipe or a wet paper towel and just kind of sweep down from the corner of the eye down into the muzzle and then wipe it out with the wait, with the wet paper towel. So um, hopefully those help. Those were her two specific questions was um, the shedding, which I know can be, <laughs> especially when they're blowing coat. So Cupcake will lose like a little bit of hair all year long. But when he was longer, he would really like blow coat, which is when you're seeing like this undercoat come out in large amounts. And then keeping their eyes clean with the um, the eye boogers that you'll see. So I hope that helped with your two questions. Now I am going to do a full groom with Cupcake. Um, I'm not going to show the bath unless you guys want to see it, but I'm going to do just the overall grooming for him. Um, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So we're going to begin with um, brushing him out. I'm going to spray him with uh, this with this conditioner I have. This is um, just decanted into the Crown Royale. Uh, it's the Crown Royale detangling spray, ultimate detangling spray, and I'll link it below. Oh my gosh! So spray him. Turn him around. I'm going to spray him. Good boy. Um, now the brush that I'm using is this pen brush that I got at. Pet smart. Um, I will say one thing about pen brushes. If you have a really long drop coat breed, like so if you're keeping your Yorkie or your Lhasa or your Shih Tzu in full coat, you, you want to make sure you don't get the pen brush that has these like little balls on the end. You want to get a straight pen brush. Um, so one without it. Cupcake's short, so I'm not really worried about the hair tangling around the balls and breaking and ripping off. Um, so this is the one that I use. I think it's gentler on the skin because of the ball on um, the rounded ends. So he just, you know, let me brush him out. So that's that side. We're gonna brush this side out. Oh boy. Oh, tipsy topsies. Gonna brush his little side here. So I'm just doing an overall um, brush out on him. Again, um, like I said in the intro, if your dog is longer, 
Um, so for Zoe specifically, you're going to be using your rake to pull out that undercoat um, first. Like I said, my guys are shaved down. Cupcake's a little uneasy on the um, table, so he's <laughs> kind of like sprawled out. <laughs> he's trying to grip the table for life. So just brush out the front of him. And along here. And his ears. Now what I found when I kept, um, kept Cupcake long was that back here behind his ears would get really matted quickly. So you just need to make the time to um, really go through that area and brush them out really good. Now I'm going to pick him up and turn him around. And Cupcake hates this. He hates for his bottom to be brushed. See, he'll just keep turning so I can't get to So I'm just going to kind of hold him and then brush his um, back feathers out. So there's that. And I'm going to give Cupcake a sanitary cut or a hygiene clip. It's just going to be to shave the hair along his genitals and along his bottom. The clippers I'm using are the Andes. This is just a two speed. And then I'm just using the tin blade um, to trim. I'm just going to pick him up, which he hates. <laughs> and I'm going to shave all of this and I'm going to shave on his bottom too. Um, so we just kind of shaved along the thighs here and up the tummy. Good boy. Whew. That was exhausting. <laughs> so now I'm going to spin him around. Oh, good boy. And I'm going to trim up his, um, his bottom. Got your business all on YouTube, Cupcake. So <laughs> I'm going to move, make sure I'm moving his tail out the way. But I'm going to shave his bottom. Where are my clippers? So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're not touching the surface of the blade to his actual, like, skin back here. So I'm just going to go to over top of it, to the side of it. To the other side of it and then turn my blade around and then up that clears all that out so he can poop <laughs> so to the side to the other side and then up so that's his sanitary there so he can, he can poop clean um, so that's about as much as I shave with him. Um, I don't really shave Cupcake's paw pads, but I'll show you for the video. For the um, toe under the paw pad, I'm using the 5 8 blade. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 5 8 And I'm going to start in the back. And all I'm going to do is pick up his foot and then just shave. You do want to be careful with the smaller blade because you can like cut them and it tickles. So <laughs> just kind of shaving, you know, in the all that. Oh, i do the other one. Like I said, he does not like his back end to be done. He's trying desperately to turn around. So the same thing, I'm just gonna 
so long. I need tickles, I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So there's that one. Now we're gonna do the front. See, I don't normally do this to his feet, but he's like, uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? What's happening to me? And then the last one, and then the same thing. stick with the feet for a second um, so the next thing I'm gonna do much to his chagrin is shape up the fronts like the top of his feet now I do want to make a disclaimer I believe for the breed um, and a lot of other kind of spaniels you are supposed to keep the feet messy you are supposed to keep this like the like, grown out um, but I trim it because I like the, the way the feet look when they're neat um, so just keep that in mind if you want your dog to really look like the breed. I do believe chins are among the spaniels that keep the feet kind of splayed out like a cavalier. So I'm going to do mine though. So what I use for that is a slicker brush like this. Again, you can pick these up anywhere, online, pet store. And all I'm going to do is brush the fur backwards towards like towards his leg, brush it backwards. And then take my curved scissors and trim up what is um, sticking out. So, so you can see that is sticking out. So I'm going to trim that. Now you want to make sure you're holding the scissors like flush. Like kind of, you don't want to go directly across, I guess is the better way to say it. That way you don't cut into the foot. Like I'm not going in like this. I'm kind of angling them up. So that's his little neat feet. And you can, you know, brush them up a little bit again. And you're just kind of going across like that. Front feet are done. Ooh la la. It's not gonna make him do his back feet. He's so funny about the back feet. Um, now he does have luxating patellas, which means those knees pop in and out. So I'm a little bit more gentle with the range of motion I put him through. I'll make myself more uncomfortable than make him do too much with them back with his back legs. just reach kind of underneath him <laughs> to do it so he doesn't have to pick that leg up but the same thing I'm just brushing the fur kind of back towards the rest of the leg so it sticks up like that can you guys see that it's sticking up and just trim what's sticking up 
maybe you can see more how my my thing is not angled into his leg it's angled kind of up trim his front nails just regular um, nail trimmers pretty good about this so we're just trim his nails Now what I'm going to do is the, um, I'm going to comb him out. So I'm using a wire comb. This is also called a butter comb. This one happens to be just, I think, from Pet Edge, which they sell really, really cheap online um, grooming supplies. But you can pick this up anywhere. Uh, the benefit of it is that it is medium coarse. So if you can tell these are spaced farther apart than these. And so I'm going to start with the wider side and then move into the finer side. Oh, and he's like, oh, but I don't want to do any of that. So I'm just going <laughs> to start here. Like I said, behind the ears tends to mat up really a lot for them. And it's going to move through his body. Again, Cupcake is not in full coat, so this does not take long. Um, I'm just kind of going through. Oh, me. So I'm just kind of running it through his body. behind these ears. If you guys could see what I was doing, that'd be great. I bet you'd like to see what I'm doing. Through these furnishings here. There's tail. He does not like his back in to be calmed out. I know. The cold is out. Once he's combed out with this wider side, I'm going to move into the finer side just to make sure we've gotten, you know, any kind of tangles there might be. furnishings. I take the foot <laughs> and hold it where there is no hair and I just kind of I want it it's, when it's when he's standing it's gonna be like this so I'm gonna cut down and then cut up again kind of if that makes any sense So you have a nice whoop. Yes. So we're gonna move. He's like, what? Now I tend to keep his tail shorter. Um, just because you know it doesn't need to be full bloom. 
but all I do is just take it, chop the tip off. Now, find your dog's bone first. So his bone actually ends way up here. So all the rest of this is just fur. Just cut the fur. Boom! And then, I know, I know you hate this. I'm so sorry. So then you would just kind of trim that up a little bit, you know, keep that natural shape going. You know, don't really do too much with that because he's short anyway. Um, you can do these back feathers too, um, but again, they're not that long, so there's really I'm not gonna really mess with them. But you could you could do like a, a nice shaping here and here, but they're not. It's not that bad. It's not that, and then we are done with that. And then we're gonna do into like our um, rest of our stuff. So <laughs> brush it out, brush it out. And then while he's standing, we're gonna brush the paper comb. I'm trying to keep my arm out the way. <laughs> I hope you guys can see. Because it is weird to do it and have to keep the camera in mind. But hopefully you guys can see that. And who is being a good boy? So for his back feet, you just brush this little section up. Oh, they can't see because your tail is long. This section back here, and you just trim that up. You just slop that right off. Same thing on the other side. Good boy. I know you don't like these back things done. Ready? Just brush that section of hair up, and then slop it off. The boy. He's all brushed out. He's all combed out. I want to give you guys a good idea of grooming a chin, but he's not in full coat. But one, one thing you could do is uh, shape this up. But he doesn't really have anything to shape up. It's just kind of short. Now we're going to do our teeth and ears. I just use um, Nyla Bone toothpaste. I also use um, CET. And for a toothbrush, Cupcake has kind of a weird mouth. So what I have found to be the best are these children toothbrushes. Um, they can get in his mouth really well because it's long, but the head is really, really small. So you can pick these up anywhere. Um, but it's a children's soft toothbrush. All I do is get a tiny, tiny amount on the brush itself. Like that. It's a small amount. And then I find... <laughs> <laughs> the corner of his mouth he is willing to give me I'm trying to get you guys to see it and I just move the toothbrush to the back I'll show you when I get to the other side um, and then just brush his teeth the um, veterinarian said to go in circles so think of it that way because you're kind of hitting the gum line see so I just kind of try to work it to the back of his mouth he chews on it which helps and I just try to go in little circles so that's what we do <laughs> Oh, he hates this. He hates all of this. But he's a good boy for it. Good boy. And then we'll take this and we'll wash it out. So we can reuse it. So we're gonna clean his ears. Which I'm just using this um this cleaner from Banfield because it's what I was given for uh, Bailey. But I have a big gallon of um, ear cleaner from the top performance, so I get a pet edge. I just kind of hold back the flap of his ear and then take the cotton ball and wipe gently. Um, wipe. 
out his ear. <laughs> He's got little ears. Him and Coco have like such tiny ears and Bam Bam and Bailey have these huge ears. And they just wipe out. Now for the other ear, I'm going to get a new cotton ball. So I'm not going to use the same one because if there was anything going on in this ear, I don't want to move it into this ear so then he has like two ear problems instead of one. So just get a new cotton ball. Get a different one. And I'm going to do the same thing which you guys won't be able to see. So it's just going to be the same on that side too. Now for his um, face, even though I'm about to bathe him, <laughs> I just take a baby wipe. Um, you can do a wet paper towel too. And I'm just going to kind of run from the corner <laughs> of his eye down into his uh, muzzle, which pulls that goobity bobber or goops out. So there's that one. I'm going to flip it over. We caught one. We caught one. And I'm going to do the other side. Gentle, gentle. He's trying to run away and just wipe his uh, eyes out. So, again, you don't want to like touch the eye. Like, he's closing his eye when I'm going in to wipe. Um, but I'm just kind of sweeping from that corner of the eye down to the muzzle and then wiping it off in the muzzle. Right. I switch them to different collars when they are um, clean so I can clean these. So this is the one that he had on. So I will now wash this one. I'll throw it in the wash. And this is his new one. So they each have two collars. So this is his, his clean one and I'm going to take the tag changer and just pop it on. So now his tags are on there on his clean collar. And this one will get washed and I'm also going to rinse out the toothbrush. That's everything. He's going to get a bath now. I'm not going to show it because it's going to be weird with the camera and the water and all that. But if you guys want to see it, request it in the comments and I'll figure something out so you guys can see the bath. Keep in mind, I am planning on doing a video of Coco's grooming, uh, which because she is in full coat, is a little bit different. So, see, he was a very, very brave boy. And again, thank you, um, Cynthia, for requesting the video. And I hope this helps with Zoe. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.